Hello my beautiful MK Love fam, welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, my name is Melanie Kate Love, international childhood trauma healer, helping you to break the cycle of abuse in your family and in your romantic relationships so you can manifest the partner of your dreams. Now today you are joining me on episode seven as a part of our seven part video series all about the chakras. Now, if you've missed any of my previous videos from the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, and the third eye, you have six videos to catch up on. But the fact that you're here and you clicked on this one, let's see what you need to know. So the crown chakra, it's an energy center within your body that's located above the top of your head and is the source of enlightenment, interconnectedness, and limitless consciousness. It identifies with universal wisdom, is beyond the elements, and its biggest challenge comes with making peace with attachments. Now, in terms of looking at the crown chakra, we're gonna look at three different examples, well, three different areas in which it can fall. Deficient, balanced, or excessive. Have a look on the screen right now for deficient. You could be materialistic, closed-minded, have neurological disorders, depression, or have difficulty meditating. Now, if you're excessive, this means that you could have the detachment from spirit. You could have spiritual or, or and or religious addictions and have a disassociation from the body. So yeah, you don't wanna be classified as being, like being off with the fairies kind of thing. In terms of being balanced, this means that you are interconnected with universal wisdom. You have situational awareness enlightenment, you live in the present moment and you are open-minded. Now, all of the beautiful clients that go through my eight-week coaching program, we work exclusively on the chakras. Each week of the program, we work through a different chakra. At the end of the program, they come aware with having the awareness on how to cope with whatever triggers them for the rest of their lives. They have the strategies, the tools, and the chakra system of how they need to heal. It's a very interesting one because it took me a very long time to get to the stage to unblock my crown chakra. So depending on where you are on your journey, the fact that you're watching this video already tells me that you're already quite connected to your intuition and the higher realm. This is where you can have insight into situations that you can't logically explain. Like there's no way in which you could have known this information and it, it's quite an interesting thing. Like sometimes I just look at someone and I'm like, no, like it just feels like a big red flag. So depending on what situation you're in, think back to where you're at in terms of being deficient to being balanced or excessive. What comes up for you right now? Comment down below, let me know, are you deficient, balanced or excessive? Type it in below. Regardless of where you are on your journey, I just want you to repeat after me, I am where I am and it's okay. By surrendering to the process, you literally set yourself free. So let me give you some guidance using our tarot cards. Let's see what you need to know for your crown chakra. There it is. Oh, we had this for the last one. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is basically the mama bear of abundance. She's nurturing, she's giving, she, um, and then I heard um, Jenny from the block. I used to have a little, now I got a lot. Then I know where I, know where I came from. Dum -ba -da -dum -ba -da -dum. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the black. I used to have a little, now I got a lot. It's like you have abundance, so much abundance. You have situational abundance from your awareness. Like you can look at a situation and see through other people. You can literally see through other people and you may feel it in your body. You could feel it. It's interesting, like sometimes I talk with clients and I can feel their blockages. I sometimes cough if it's a throat chakra. I could get pains in the heart. I could feel pain just running down my arms sometimes. Um, it can be quite um, overpowering when you first learn to unblock these and you're kind of like, you go from deficient all the way to excessive. You're like, ah, oh, I'm just scared of these gifts and you don't really understand. Um, or you could be too caught in this ethereal world and you're not grounded. What the Queen of Pentacles is telling you is that everything that you need exists within yourself. 
You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to choose high vibrational thoughts. You have the power to unblock your chakras and to reconnect your body, your mind, and your soul. When you have this, you are your own guru. Like honestly, you are your own healer. And when you're at that stage, you may choose to use those gifts to help other people. You may use those gifts. I kind of feel like you, you, I feel like when you have this opportunity to unblock this, it's like you have to use them for good. Let's get some clarity on that one because that was crazy that that came up. That's, oh, fun. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is like dancing. It's also a celebration. It's also freedom. It's also movement, liberation, doing things that make you feel good. And then I hear, I'm walking on sunshine. And then we also got the Eight of Pentacles. This represents that you've put in a lot of work. You didn't just wake up overnight and be able to talk to your angels. You've been on a massive journey, probably for years. Um, this is somebody who's very mystical, somebody who journals, is very much in tune with herself, somebody who has an idea and executes it and knows because within five seconds of having an idea, fear comes in and ruins it. This is somebody who is in tune with the moon, somebody who's in tune with all aspects of herself, but she's, it, it, it's a lot of work. That's what I'm kind of saying. It's somebody that put in a lot of work. So in terms of the queen of pentacles and you getting to this stage of being such a nurturing and kind and giving person, you're doing it from a place of love, but you've also put in the work to do it and you're celebrating where you're at and you're very proud of yourself. And you know that because you have these beautiful gifts and you've awakened them within yourself, you can help other people to do the same. And that's kind of what happened to me. It took me a really long time to unblock them, but I had to go through a lot in order to get that. But now I appreciate it so much more. So wherever you are in your journey, I hope whether this has triggered something within you, something indeficient or excessive, and you're like, oh, maybe that's me, just repeat after me. I am where I am and it's okay. Just surrender to the process. How do you surrender? Okay, two ways I can help you. The first one, you can join our monthly women's online moon circle. It's the time around the full moon. We join together, a beautiful MK Love fan. We jump on Zoom um, and we celebrate the phase of the, well, the phase of the moon is the full moon, but the sign of the zodiac, which it's linked to, because every month we, we experience a different sign of the zodiac um, under the full moon. So that's why I can help you. I'll be collectively with that MK Love fam. It's kind of amazing to see their faces on the screen. The other way is if you need intensive support, which I don't think you do if you're at this stage, is to join me in my one-on-one -on -one online coaching program. That's where I work exclusively with the chakras and I help you to um, reprogram your subconscious mind, rebalance the energy centers, all of the different chakras. I teach you how to do that and then how to realign your body, your mind and soul. But I'm assuming if your <laughs> crown chakra is I'm blocked, you don't need my help. You don't need it. You've done it all, you've done the work by yourself. But if you're at the stage where you're like, I'm so close to healing, maybe I just need a little help, just apply for a call and then I'll let you know if you're a right match for the program. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the seven part video series talking through all of the seven chakras. Any questions that you have for me, let me know down below and comment some of your stories. Like, if anything came up for you that you'd love to share, please do it in the comments because that would be amazing. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you soon. Bye.